Hello students, the question is two identical electric dipoles are placed along the diagonals of a square ABCD of side square root 2 meter as shown in the figure. Obtain the magnitude and direction of the net electric field at the center O of the square. So the problem is based on the topic the electric field due to a dipole. Now the situation is this, there is there are two dipoles, this is first dipole, this is second dipole. This is plus Q charge of the first dipole and this is the minus Q charge of the first dipole. This is plus Q charge of the second dipole and this is minus Q charge of the second dipole. Now the basic uh, strategy to solve this problem is first we find out the net dipole moment corresponding to both of the dipoles. Then we have to use the formula of the electric field in terms of the dipole which is given by E equals to 1 upon 4 pi epsilon naught then p basically minus p upon r square plus a square to the power 3 by 2. So this is the formula to calculate the electric field due to a dipole at the equatorial position and uh, for the equatorial position for example this is the dipole this is the dipole for example minus q plus q and this is the equatorial plane and uh, suppose it is at a distance of r, the point is at a distance of r and this is the formula. Now suppose the dipole is short or we can say that if the point is very far away, then in that case this formula reduces to r square to hold power 3 by 2 or we can say that r cube. But if we want to calculate the electric field at the midpoint, then we have to make this r as 0. We have to put this r as 0 if you want to calculate the midpoint electric field at the midpoint of the dipole. So we have to use this particular thing that we have to put r equals to 0, zero in this particular equation. Then the electric field becomes a equals e equals to 1 upon 4 pi epsilon naught minus p upon a to the power 3. So this is the formula which we have to use where a is the half of the length of the dipole. Now first of all let us calculate the net dipole moment. So the net dipole moment or P net, we have to calculate this thing. So first of all, the dipole corresponding to the first, the dipole moment corresponding to the first dipole, let it be P1. Now P1, to calculate P1, P1 is given by 2QA where 2A is the distance AC. Now it is given that the square is having a length of square root 2 meters. It means that the length of the diagonal is square root 2 multiplied by square root 2. And when square root 2 multiplied by square root 2, we get this value as 2. So we can say that the length of the dipole is 2. So basically, this is Q multiplied by the length of the dipole, which is 2Q, coulomb into meter. So 2Q is the dipole moment of the moment vector of the first dipole. Similarly, for the second dipole, the dipole moment is given by 2Q coulomb meter because the distance is same and the respective charge combination is same. So this is P1 and these are the P1 and P2 values. Now we have to calculate P net. Now to calculate P net, we see that these two are making an angle of 90 degrees. So we can say that the resultant is straight away given by a square root of P1 square plus P2 square. So this is square root of 2q whole square plus 2q whole square and we get this value as square root of 4q square plus 4q square which is 2 root 2q. So this is the value of p net. Now we have to calculate the net field. So as I have discussed earlier that the electric field, net electric field is given by this formula in this particular case because we are calculating the electric field at the midpoint of these two dipoles and for this case we can put the value of r as equal to 0 for the equatorial plane condition. In the equatorial plane condition formula if you put the value of r is equal to 0 we get the value of the electric field at the center of the dipole. So in this way we get the electric field as 1 upon 4 pi epsilon naught. Now this is your p net the net value of uh, the dipole moment. So this is basically 2 root 2 q. This is 2 root 2 q. This is the magnitude and the direction of the in the direction of the e net 
basically which we have to use here is along the direction of DC because it is parallel E net is parallel to DC. So we can say that this is along DC the direction of the electric field is along DC. Now in the denominator part we have A cube. Now A is this particular length. A is the length corresponding to the half part of the dipole this part. So this is equal to 1 because the whole distance is 2 the diagonal distance is 2 meter. So the half distance is 1 meter. So we have to put here 1 1 to the power 3. So we get the final result as 2 root 2 q upon 4 pi epsilon naught. So in this is in terms of the uh, electric field is in terms of Newton Coulomb. Newton Coulomb is the value of the basically it is force F equals to QE then E equals to N upon Newton per Coulomb. This is Newton per Coulomb. So this is the final result of the electric field. So this problem is asked electric field ki value or electric field ka magnitude or yahan pe do dipoles ka combination liya gaya hai jo is tarah se ek dusre ko intersect kar rahe hain inke respective charges plus or minus q hain aur inke jo charges ke placement hai wo along the corners of the square hain ek aisa square jiski side length square root 2 meter hai hame yahan pe net electric field nikalna hai to uske liye jo basic strategy hum use karenge hum sabse pehle net dipole moment nikalenge पहले इंडिविजुअल डायपोल मोमेंट्स निकालेंगे और उनका रिजल्टेंट निकाल के नेट डायपोल मोमेंट निकालेंगे उसके बाद हम इलेक्ट्रिक फील्ड निकालने के लिए फार्मूला यूज करेंगे फॉर द डायपोल के केस में इक्वेटोरियल पोजीशन वाले केस का फार्मूला जबकि हम r को 0 कर देते हैं अगर हम r को 0 कर दें तो हमें ठीक मिड पॉइंट पे मिल जाएगी वैल्यू ऑफ द इलेक्ट्रिक फील्ड सो ये जो फार्मूला आप देख रहे हैं e equals to minus p upon 4 pi epsilon naught r square plus a square whole power 3 by 2 ये फार्मूला हम यहां पे यूज करेंगे और इसमें हम r की वैल्यू को जीरो पुट कर देंगे क्योंकि हम मिड पॉइंट पे कैलकुलेट करना चाह रहे हैं इलेक्ट्रिक फील्ड तो यहां जब r जीरो हो जाएगा तो उस केस में a square की पावर 3 by 2 2 से 2 कैंसिल a cube बचेगा अब हमें नेट डायपोल मोमेंट निकालने के लिए पहले इंडिविजुअल डायपोल मोमेंट निकालने पड़ेंगे इंडिविजुअल डायपोल मोमेंट निकालने के लिए हम फार्मूला यूज करेंगे p1 2qa वेयर this 2a is the distance of the dipole. This is the distance of the dipole. This is the charge. So we can say that the charge multiplied by the distance of the dipole. Or distance if we talk about the dipole, then the diagonal length is equal to. And since we have given the square length square root 2 meter, then the diagonal length will be square root 2 multiplied by square root 2, which is equal to 2. So our result will be P1, it will be 2q. In the same way, we will take P2, and that value will be 2q. After that, we will take both of these P1, P2 का रिजल्टेंट निकालेंगे, P नेट निकालेंगे, और इस केस में हम देखते हैं फॉर्मूला हमारा रिजल्टेंट का फॉर्मूला हम जानते ही हैं, R equals to square root a square plus b square plus 2ab cos theta, यहाँ पे theta जो है वो 90 डिग्री है, तो cos theta जीरो हो जाएगा, तो इसका मतलब केवल हमें square root of P1 square और P2 square add up करके calculation करनी होगी, तो P नेट equals to square root of P1 square plus P2 square, respective values put करेंगे हम यहाँ पे P1 की 2q, P2 की 2q इसको सॉल्व करके हमारा जो फाइनल नेट डायपोल मोमेंट आएगा वो आएगा 2 रूट टू क्यू अब हम अपने इलेक्ट्रिक फील्ड के फॉर्मूले में जो हमने डिस्कस किया था e equals to 1 upon 4 pi epsilon naught minus p upon a cube इसमें p की वैल्यू को पुट कर देंगे और a की जगह हम रख देंगे because a is this length तो a की जगह हम 1 रख देंगे 1 क्यू तो हमारा फाइनल रिजल्ट आएगा 2 root 2 q upon 4 pi epsilon naught so this is the net electric field ये नेट इलेक्ट्रिक फील्ड होगा for the combination of these two dipoles Hope you understand the solution. Thank you.